Okay, this is my computer. It's a Pavilion HP Media Center PC M376N. It's a Pentium 4. It's pretty old. Uh, I think it was made in 2003. I had it since then. Uh, this is what happened. I went to use my computer and my computer will not boot. As you can see, it starts to boot. And I'm going to get the click. And then after I get a click, it wants me to, uh, to change my hard drive. It says F2 to continue. It's going to try to boot up again. And that's what you hear. Like it's trying to read, write, but it's not working. I get a black screen. So my hard drive is shot. What I'm going to do, take this off, change the hard drive, not change the hard drive, I'm going to take out the hard drive, remove the board from this one, and I'm going to order one on eBay, and uh, hopefully that will solve my problem, and if not, I'm screwed, I've lost my data. Uh, after you power down. Take the AC plug off so there's no juice on the board or anything like that. Very old, lot, very old uh, computer. Uh, I've never upgraded anything, just added some RAMs. Never gave me any problems. I'm not a big gamer of this system. I have another system in the boys' room, which is the biggest system we got. But for this, for my daily use is fine. I will upgrade. November. Don't know what, but one upgrade. I'm taking the face off. I know I need to take it out. Because my hard drive is inside this case here, which swings across, but won't be able to. And I remove this connect face plate for the the cards. Take this right off. Now I'll rotate this over. I'm going to plug this. It's in my way. Pretty so old. It's funny. I still have a floppy. A drive. <laughs> Never used it. Basically, we're gonna unscrew all the screws to hold this together. Oops. Then uh, slide the hard drive out. Just got one more screw up here. Then unplug the ribbon off. First of all, now power off. Then plug the ribbon out. This is my old drive. I'm gonna replace this board. Cross my finger. Hopefully, I have the trick. That will do the trick. If not, I'm I'm in trouble. Just got my hard drive from eBay. This is gonna replace the one I have. Well, I'm just gonna replace the motherboard. Uh, okay, 35 bucks. Um, it's my packing slip. My receiver, a thank you note on it. My bubble wrap. More bubble wrap. More bubble wrap. Hard drive. There you go. I got my Western Toyota 
1200 AB, 00DY A0. It's IDI hard drive, 120 gigabytes of memory. Hopefully, all I need is this motherboard. I'm going to take this motherboard and install it onto a new hard drive. If that doesn't work, then I have a hardware issue, which probably the rollers, the arms, I don't know what it's technically called, but that might be the problem. Whoa, it's very tight. You take the screws out one by one. They're torque eight screws. And it has four screws. Those are the four screws. No. Let me get this label off. This is a pack label the seller put on. I don't know for what reason. But I'm thinking it off. Maybe he meant no harm by doing this. This is what I'll be changing on my board. Hopefully, it would work. Crossing my fingers. All right. Got the hard drive out of the computer. Uh, I should mark this. This is the marker. So I won't get them confused. This is my old one here. Put X on it. Uh, same thing. Remove the screws. Four screws. Okay, take the board right off. Take the board out. The same way the board goes out, the same way the board goes back in. Oh, something happened here. This that stuck to my board, so let's take this one off. Put the board here. Okay, we put the same four screws back in. Alright, if this work, I'm in business. I'm gonna take the data out, put it on my external hard drive, and buy a new hard drive. I'm not using the other hard drive at all, even though I've let's see. To use to you as a backup. I won't use it. If not, we go to plan B, which is data recovery from a friend of mine. He has a machine that 70% success rate. So we'll give it a try. So that's it. Wish me luck guys. Alright guys. Now, here's the true test. Switch the board from the other hard drive, put it onto this one, and we're going to install it. I'm not even going to bother doing a full 
installing this until I give it a try. Let me see if it boots up. If not, take it back out again. So that there. I'm gonna boot it. Please work, baby. Nah, it's clicking. All right, so oh, it stopped clicking. Nah, let's do it again. Put it straight. Hard drive is dead. There it goes. It's trying to boot. It's going crazy. Master boot record error. Press a key. Reboot and select proper boot device. Device not working. So, I have to go to plan B, which I'm going to bring my uh, hard drive to my friend. And hopefully, he'll get it to work. If not, I lost my data. Two months of personal data, pictures, videos, personal videos, and bill payments. That's why you have to back up at least once a week.